Good morning, beekeepers. It's going to rain this afternoon, and I see Charlie's already barking. Anyway, Charlie, what are you barking about? What are you doing? I'm trying to videotape here. You're interrupting my video. Charlie, come here. Come here. Come here. Get up here. Get up there. Charlie wanted to help, I guess, so let's just get him in the video. Okay, now you can go. Bye. See you later. <laughs> let's go see what we have here. Well, that's what happens whenever <laughs> you get out here and try to make a video in the middle of the day. Not the middle of the day, probably about 10.30 morning, but it's already warming up. I see the sun's coming out, and we're going to have some light changes for sure. Today I thought I'd talk about what happened when I decided to start beekeeping, and maybe I can answer some questions that you all will be asking yourselves if you've been thinking about beekeeping in 2024 and 2025. Well, first of all, let's start off with, when does your bee year start? Well, according to Bob Benny, it starts about August, because that's when everything kind of calms down, it's the end of the year, the honey's been harvested, and you're starting to get ready for the next year. And one of the things you would do is feed your bees. And also, you might treat for mites. That's really not what this is about, other than I kind of want to answer some questions about what it takes to get started. Now, when I first started, I thought, okay, I'm going to go down to Blue Ridge Honey Company, which, by the way, I'm not sponsored by, and see what it would cost to start beekeeping. So they told me the first thing you probably need to do was take a class on beekeeping and get some books and read up about it. But they did tell me the price of a beehive. I think it was about $250 for the bare hive just then. Basically it consists of a telescoping cover, an inner cover, a box to put the frames in, 10 frames, and a bottom board and an entrance reducer. Those are the things it will cost about probably $250 to start. And it may run about $300 now. I'm not sure. I'd have to check again. But So those are the things you got to be concerned with. Now the foundation that goes inside the hive is like this. It's just plain plastic with some wax coating on it. They told me it was double coated. And therefore, the bees will take right to it. And in fact, they actually have been really lucky of doing that. But I have found that if this sits around for 8-10 months, that wax kind of dries up, doesn't have a smell to it, I guess, and the bees, the bees will kind of make a wonky honeycomb. That's why they don't build right on the comb itself. They kind of put it outside, make their own comb to the side of it. Then they told me you would need to buy the bees, and a bees would come in a box like this. But I didn't realize it, but that's $200. They're basically, I think $195 was the last time the price they had. But they're generally running from $180 to $250 now, depending on what you buy. So, the other thing was, in order to ward off any catastrophes and losses of bees, you're really going to need to have two beehives. So, there you go. You need two of these. That's $400. Or at least $190 each. Unless you get lucky, you might find somebody that sells a little cheaper. But but then if you get two of those, you're going to need two of these. Well, that's just the beginning. So let's see. We had $400 there. And then you have here a box. The bottom board costs about $20, $22. The box itself costs about $22. Then you got to paint it. So that costs a little bit of money too. As you can see, I've got different colors. I started out using... Oops paint from Home Depot or Lowe's. That's why this color is this way. But then eventually, once I got the beekeeping, I realized that I might as well get the good stuff and get some semi-gloss white paint, make it look like everybody else's. And that's paid off. Most of my hives now are white. And it keeps them a little cooler, I think. Oops paint might be something somebody returned that has water in it. Yeah, I worked for Home Depot and I know how that works. <laughs> I was in the paint department for a while back in the 90s and yeah, people would bring back a can of water and expect to get their money back. There are cheaters out there. 
at any rate this box costs about $250 I believe if you went and added it all up but then by the end of the year you're going to need more because over winter you're going to need two of these boxes here if you're in my area if you're a little further south you might need a medium box but still this is a medium box by the way but still that may not be enough if you're up here in the woods in the North Carolina area western North Carolina that's why I'm in the Blue Ridge Mountains now if you're south of me you might get by with just one deep super and a medium super this is a medium super this is a deep super for overwintering your bees and then if you're here or further north you're probably going to want to have two deep supers like this one here and this one here and then you might even need another super here that's a medium super at least to get it drawn out for the winter so in the spring you'll have a good chance of getting honey early now let me show you this cover here this is a migratory cover now that can save you some money that right there probably costs about twenty two dollars as opposed to sixty dollars for the inner cover and the outer cover the telescoping cover the telescoping cover being this this being the inner cover the telescoping cover is actually called a telescoping cover because it telescopes over top of the inner cover now the inner cover does give it ventilation but I think I showed this in another video you can get ventilation in the migratory cover too just by putting it up like this you have space here so now we've got to a point here where the end of the year the first year you're going to have to have this probably a bottom board a deep box another deep box and a medium box and a, a migratory cover at least maybe here the telescoping cover and the inner cover so let's add all this up a bottom board down here would cost about twenty two dollars twenty two plus a deep body was twenty two dollars plus another deep body is twenty two dollars plus thirty foundation frames is a hundred and twenty dollars at four dollars each then we're going to add an inner cover at uh, forty dollars and a outer cover for 25 and then a reducer for three we come up to 254 so create this beehive that you'll probably need the first year the price would be for the bottom board $22 plus deep body need two of them that would be $44 then you need 30 frames that would be $120 at four a piece an inner cover which would be about plus an inner cover that would be about forty dollars plus an outer cover which would be about twenty five dollars and a reducer for about three dollars we come up with about two fifty four now that could be you know up to three hundred dollars depending where you buy it or even a little lower if you bought a kit uh, kits are usually not as good but you got to remember that you do have to have paint unless you got painted components that would cost you another forty or fifty dollars all this would need to be painted and put together it costs screws and things like that so you're really looking at about three hundred dollars for this can set up and that's before you get the bees so you can get a bees here another two hundred dollars and then you think okay i need two of these the first year and two of those the first year that's the bees and the queen so now we're looking at about a thousand dollars to get started so that was the answer to my question about how much it would cost then the question is what do you need to know before you go before you even buy bees before you buy any of these things you should go join a club you should take a beekeeping class definitely take a beekeeping class are well worth the money oh that's about you know another 79 80 dollars <laughs> if you need a smoker that's going to be about another oh forty dollars and then you'll have tool that's eight to ten dollars all these things add up and those are the things you need to know if you're thinking about how much is it going to cost then you have to consider when do I start well right now is the best time to start because this is what July almost almost August the beekeeping year is about over most of the honey has been harvested and extracted and bottled and put away 
wish I was true, but <laughs> I still have some of that to do. Anyway, August is when you start lining up where you're going to get your nuke boxes. There's lots of places already are taking orders for nuke boxes, and they won't be here until April or May of next year. But if you don't line them up, they might be sold out by the time you get ready to do it. So all these things are things you can be doing before winter, or in the winter. So joining a club is really important. You should get a mentor if you can, somebody who's been in business for a while. I would definitely watch a lot of beekeeping videos on YouTube and the other parts of the internet. There's just lots of things that you should start looking at to start beekeeping next year. And if you wait, well you won't know how to do things next year when you get your bees. You, if you don't know what you're doing when you get the bees, then you might get a lot of things wrong. You may lose bees. And that's another thing. What happens if you're really successful and these beehives get filled up? In that case, you may have to buy more equipment. In my case, the first year I think I spent about $2,200. And in the second year, another $3,000. So it started adding up really quick. Because I was expanding really quick. I wound up with five hives the second year going into winter. So these are the things you need to think about. Oh, we haven't even talked about a lot of stuff. Like if you have a bear, you might need an electric fence. You might have to have a bee yard that's not in your yard. And you might have to do a lot of things that you hadn't thought about. So it's time to learn as much as you can about bees. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's getting hot. Sweats are pouring off of me, so I think I'm going to wrap it up. Go into a little bit of editing so I can have this out tomorrow.